apparently. Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. thinking if we just just say I kind of like just having it just be jam, and then when we upload it, it's just June fifteenth jam, and then we, in the description we write what we worked on that time. Maybe when yeah. we lock in more to like a specific theme, we could worry about it a little more. But I don't think it really matters. Um, but yeah, welcome to jam. I did a lot of work on Lady off stream. I think she's coming along pretty well, the texture work and whatnot. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep working on that. So I've been working on this like all day anyways, so I figured I'd just keep going. Keep the momentum up. And I am rigging the baseball player. Oh yeah, we could do the duet. Yeah, I gotta make sure I have the right number of bones and everything. Do you want me to send uh, Fridger Man? You could copy the rig. Sure. Or Actually, I could just send yeah, a screenshot. I could just copy that whole oh, armature. Because okay. um, I just took the basic human armature and then just trimmed away the unnecessary bones. Yeah, that's perfect. I was a little worried about this song, and not this song specifically, but this game, you know, just DDR. Mm -hmm. I could definitely see that getting some some issues. Hold on. I'm sure I think I cropped this wrong. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! I should just have it like this. See, this, I feel like this is probably gonna... This is what I was worried about, <laughs> but whatever. We'll find out. Um, is this the right one? <laughs> Look, even when I open it in the... What? You see this? Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. When you import it, just uncheck use animation data. I don't know what, how they got so, like, closely tied, whatever. Isn't that the Mixamo thing? No, that was my, that's me, mocap running, but it's, like, wrong. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was Mixamo. I think... May I guess it's possible. I'm pretty sure this is me. Because I think all the Mixamo shit worked fine. And Mixamo didn't have any like running animations that I downloaded. I just did all the dances. So I'm pretty sure this is one of my running animations I mocapped like a long time ago. But yeah, I've been pretty happy with the the UVs on this, like all of this, the whole like spaghetti strap and the whole edge of the top right here and then the X has all been done with like just this. Oh wow. Just going through and doing crazy shit with the UVs. Yeah. And I feel like you can't really tell. I feel like it looks, it looks better than when I drew it on. So when I drew it on you had all the edges. Oh, well, there's, there's a little flaw right there, actually. Oh, hey, what a coincidence. But yeah, I've been working on the hands for a bit here. A lot, oh, of the, a lot of this he's is so just like small. the scribbles. He's so little. <laughs> Why is he so little? <laughs> I don't know. My guy's really big, I guess. That's funny. Yeah, I'm sure the scaling... I wonder how what the scale difference is between this girl and fridge guy. Now I'm curious. I wonder if I have like any sort of consistent internal scale, or if I just if it's just completely random.
Yeah, he's like half her size. Weird. I mean, I guess she's... He's like half her polys as well. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything to that. But yeah, I'm not necessarily uh, sold strictly on the hair color. That's definitely subject to change. But I think it works. I, mean, I got kind of like a blue-purple palette going. Did you have this many bones? These ones sticking out, or <clears throat> oh wait, does he have the extra ones on his fingertips too? Yeah, I think okay. yeah, they have the yeah, leaf bones. Yeah, they added leaf bones when I cloned the animation to it, uh, so okay. you can delete the one the extra bone. Or I could try to find one before I did that too, if that's helpful. That's fine. I already have it. Can you import and just like not include leaf bones? I wonder. No, the export like uh, bakes them in. I realized recently this game developer, the fucking wolf that keeps coming in, these are the dudes that made fucking Superman 64. The wolf? Yeah, the, the CRT, you know, on the Mickey Medium. The little dog that comes in and goes, ah, every once in a while. Um, uh, I don't know. He, he like just left the screen, so. Oh, okay. I just changed and I'm looking at your screen now. But yeah, um, it's just like this random chess game I found. I thought it was funny and I realized they're the dudes who made Superman 64, so makes it a little more infamous. They're still complete no-names, but they're infamous no-names, I suppose. Oh yeah, I forgot I was in the middle of working on the knuckle. I just got completely sidetracked. Or not the knuckle, the fingy fold. I don't know that. Oh, I used that technique that I came up with for the shading. Or no, I didn't invent it. <laughs> the one that I suggested yesterday when we were talking about getting the lighting right. Mm -hmm. I have uh, baking it. Well, I have a version of her material that has normal lighting, and then I have like a light source way above, and mm -hmm. I just like went along and traced where the shadows were. Nice. I did have a little bit of like liberty with it, like here. But overall, that helped a pretty good amount. So far, I like the shading on this this character a lot more than on the fridge guy. Pretty close, but I think I'd, the back is better. I just watched a video about uh, this like researcher group that was trying to learn how to talk to dolphins mm -hmm. for like really long. They kept like at first it like made some sense. Like they put like a, a lady and a dolphin in isolation together, and it was just kind of like 
her, her just trying to teach him through like reinforcement and shit like that. But the video just kept pushing like further and further into insane shit that they were doing. Like it was structured in a good way where the insanity like just slowly built. Like there was a dude who was like the lead researcher who like his contribution to the whole thing is like anytime they were studying he would go in a sensory deprivation chamber nearby just to like channel his energy to them so that they would like you know, be more receptive to to talking and it got to the point where he would just take like LSD and just sit in there and trip about like going to space with dolphins and shit and was just not contributing to the study at all wow I've heard of ones where, like, the lady falls in love with the dolphin. I mean, this this got close to that. It wasn't quite that demented, but it still got weird. Like, they went into how the dolphin was having a lot of trouble focusing because it, like, wasn't around female dolphins very much. And the female, the, like, structure that was, like, supposed to train the dolphin so she started, like, training different ways to try to alleviate that issue which you can kind of use your imagination for. Yeah, I think I maybe have heard of this. That specific part of it. Yeah. But anytime they would show footage of like, like, oh, the Peter was making remarkable progress, and she'd be like, you know, like, hello, Martha, and then the dolphin would just scream. It would literally sound like a baby screaming. And then they'd be like, oh, good. Like, it kind of sounded like speech. Like, the thing they were doing was they were just screaming in the same, like, with the same emphasis that the lady was saying it in. So it's like, yeah, it's still impressive, for sure. But it's just kind of like, they're not quite talking. I think the idea of the, uh, like, small project jam is good, too. I just, I, I do agree that we just have to find that, that one mechanic that could work within, like, a small-scale thing, but it's still engaging enough that's going to keep us, like, motivated. Yeah. <clears throat> we just did something with like UI if it was just like a you know if we could just make a game with buttons that sounds a lot more attainable yeah we have to just think of some sort of I mean I wonder if we could get away with doing like a really simple card game of some sort. I wouldn't want it to get like to go too far, but I think we could maybe get away with doing some sort of you know, like have a bunch of scripts of how certain cards interact with each other and uh, maybe that could balloon real quick. Yeah.
I'm just waiting for like eventually somebody like once I have this character finished and like wrapped up and I'm happy with how she looks somebody just like sending me a Wikipedia article to an anime character that looks exactly like this already that I didn't know about and I just delete the file oh yeah I mean that's like it's inevitable it's not that big of a it's like deal. infinite there's so much content out there Yeah, the doing, uh, like working through fridge guys' textures, it like uh, prepared me for this a lot better. Like, I feel like working through fridge guy and doing the sh shading manually um, uh, improved my texturing skills a lot. Because on this one, I was able to kind of. The way I set up the UV, I feel like was a lot smarter and it was a lot more of like a methodical thing. It still took really long though. I would definitely like to have a faster turnaround, but, you know, making characters, I feel like, is always going to take long. could even go like uh, like flash game level just make some dumb like you know yeah, like ultim ultimate ultimate quiz type of deal something like that or the impossible quiz I mean oh yeah forgot about that there's a lot of room for like really simple shit like that Yeah, I missed the Bandai Namco presentation. I forgot about it. I you know. didn't really miss anything. You watched it? Yeah. I literally, like, I don't remember anything that I saw. <laughs> That's reassuring, then. Either way, it's not like Bandai Namco is what I was, like, most hyped for anyways, but still... I think that's, well, no, that's not, never mind. I've missed a couple other ones, too. I didn't watch, like, the, uh, what are they called, Gearbox one? Oh, yeah. Well, there's still the, it's not technically a part of E3, but there's still the EA one. But I feel like EA was always a down point of E3 anyways. Maybe that's blasphemous, but I feel like they just sit there and talk about FIFA for a year, and then they talk about Battlefield. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I wonder if they still, do they still own Battlefield? Yeah, I think it just like has been, where was it shown at Microsoft's one instead? Michael saw um, yeah, it was, it was Microsoft. So I don't know. I, I guess that was an Xbox trailer. Yeah, and there also could be some element of, like, maybe they, they don't want, uh, you know, the new Battlefield to just not be at E3 at all, I suppose. I don't know. Definitely seems like something they could have kept under wraps to get people actually excited for it, though. So it really feels like there's not much reason to watch the EA thing anymore.
But yeah, like right now, I'm ch like normally I would have just grabbed this whole hand and then just squished it into one solid color. But I'm I'm trying to like I'm trying to drag out g getting to that phase as long as possible with this. That way I, I don't have to overhaul everything if I want to like change how the shadow works. There are still some things I would have to fuck with, but I'm just trying to downplay that because that was a huge pain when I had to do that for for each guy. Yeah, his texture was very, very strange looking. And her texture is, is much better so far, it's just kind of scattered, but yeah. I think it's better uh, overall. I just realized I, I turned her knuckle into the ring so she didn't have a knuckle anymore. There we go. Walls video. No. It's like an old commercial he did for wine, and he's like, I, I forget what the, I, I don't know the actual story. It's like a pretty old thing, so I'm sure people know the real story behind it at this point. But it seems like he's just really drunk. But it could also be that he's really old. But it comes off that he's just really lazily giving the delivery of this. I mean, you should definitely play it. Is it a voiceover? No, it's a commercial. And he said, it's like a, the, the commercial they ended up using was the commercial where they just play all his takes where he fucks up. That ended up being a popular commercial because, like, they kept taking. Which one I should I pick? That's how it goes. First one. Turn camera. Yeah. Mark. One, oh two, take uh, one. Just listen for that. Over that action piece. Action piece. Just do anything? No, it's a, sorry, cut. You're rolling. <laughs> one, oh two, take two. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. It's he looks so the concerned. Like the, best the guy French holding the bottle. <laughs> just stated. cut back to the, the first, his Masson. first successful One, take. Two, take like, three. He goes, Action, please. Ah. Ah, the French. Ah, the champ. Yeah, really. 102, take two. <laughs> the second time. Ah, ah, the French. Ah, the French. The French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne ah. by Paul Masson. Inspired by that same French excellence, it's fermented in the bottle and like the best French champagne, it's vintage <laughs> dated. 
Soup cut. for my son, soup. <laughs> completely cut him off. I think it might have been Orson Welles. Um, I saw an ad for, like, not an ad, but I saw an interview with some, like, uh, movie fella who did, uh... Wait, Orson Welles is the guy who directed Citizen Kane? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's, like, a jump, uh, like a jump scare in Citizen Kane, I guess. I don't remember it. But it's just like a, a cockatoo just out of nowhere just screams. And like in an interview, somebody was like, what was the significance of that? I think it was Citizen Kane. I don't know. This is a scattered thing. But either way, he's just like, oh, it's just to wake the audience up. That's that's all there was to it. There's nothing. Literally, it was just like making sure people were paying attention. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to go. I mean, that literally is like... I feel like that's... That's the way to go. Do you think I should even bother trying to do like hand wrinkles? Do you think just having it flat is fine? Hand wrinkles? Like the knuckle lines and like the inner finger lines. I mean at the very least I should do At least palm I mean lines. unless you want do you want people to be aware of her knuckle lines? I, at the very least, I'll do these type of deals, yeah, but... that looks good. But stuff like this, you know, like, that doesn't look good, necessarily, but... That kind of shit. I don't really have a particular... I don't know, I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't, like, stand out as weird, that it doesn't have any detail on it. If I just leave it like this. For now, I'll leave it. I'm gonna leave it how it was. Just see how I feel about it. Another thing I noticed is like my first pass of doing, like drawing the seams. I'm like always gonna be wrong. I just have to keep redoing it over and over, so I just kind of accepted that. I should mm -hmm. just I should just kind of eyeball where the seams are and then fuck with it later and figure it out. I still do feel like that that physics game idea has some potential. I think that could be fun. I don't know about for this jam specifically, but like eventually I do like that idea. Yeah, I like the idea. Is that? That looks pretty close.
Are you interested in playing uh, Strive at all? I am actually. My I told you my controller is broken. Oh yeah, that's right. But I I ordered a new one in the mail. But it won't be coming for like a a week. But yeah, I, I probably will get Strive. Have you played other Guilty Gear games? No, but I really wanted to play Exerd, and I never got around to it. Because I know there was a time where you were like studying Guilty Gear, like the shader yeah, exactly. wise, but I never knew if you actually got the chance to like play it. They really are like the leading people that are, as far as uh, that company, Arc System, or Arc, I guess. Web system. Web system. I've, I I got a Nemesis. Yeah. And I didn't. It I did. I never put it together because it's a tentacle, you know. But when you like, I guess actually I realized this when I was playing against a Nemesis, a survivor. But they don't really have like a whip killer until now when oh, you look like at him when you look at him like actually chase people around with the thing and like when he breaks shit he swings it around like a whip hmm like when he breaks walls and stuff he like blasts through with this big like this big, big arc that is true I hadn't really considered Nemesis as a a whip user yeah, his, like, main mechanic is he swings his thing in a big whip. That's pretty cool. He's fun. The zombies are awesome. Yeah, zombies I was, are... like, worried about how that would be balanced, but it seems like they probably know what they're doing. Yeah, they nerfed him from the PTB, it looks like, or feels like, anyway. Oh yeah, the main thing in the PTB, his whip, when you get it up to its full, like over the whole round, you increase its power, and when you get it to its max power, um, it's like a really long range, and it can break through pallets, like super quick, and you can move while you're doing it, so you can like break a pallet as you're walking through it. Damn. But in the PTB, you could hit a survivor over the pallet and break the pallet at the same oh, time fuck. and now what they have is it's it's one or the other like when you do it there's a it depends on exactly where you land the way yeah that's smart probably that sounds insane it's just a wipe you just get fucked completely yeah he does he does wipe the quite a bit like He's got, he, he's such, he's weird. He's almost like, um, what's his name? Michael Myers. The way he has to like lumber around. He's pretty slow. He's not, I, I, apparently he's not like of the slowest class. I mean, he's not as slow as Nurse, who's really slow. But I think it's just like, oh yeah, part of it is that um, he has sort of an effect like the Huntress does with the song, where his footsteps are way louder, like you can hear them much easier. Okay. So it, it's easy, it feels easier to dodge him, I guess. But then you also have to deal with fucking zombies running around. Yeah. And there's sort of a balance mechanic where, like, uh, he can he can kill his zombies. And the best add-on for that is that you punch a zombie and then you get undetectable for 15 seconds. Whoa. Why does that... So you, That's silly. So you just, like, run up on, a, on somebody, punch a zombie, and then just, like pull them off a gen when they're they don't see you coming 
Can a zombie just full kill somebody, basically? And then you just go grab him and hook him? Or is it like... I just... think they'd have to be really dumb. They'd have to get hit and then come right back. Like, they would get their sprint boost and then run right into the zombie again. Or they'd like have they to already be on it. one hit. Yeah. So it just, yeah, that it just does that one damage happened. point or whatever. Uh, it do, It's the same as his whip, where it's like a three-point system. You have to hit them to contaminate them, and then once they're contaminated, you can start hurting them. Okay. So the zombies work the same way. I gotta make sure I leave myself room to do, like, alternate uh, faces, too. Like, different expressions. And then I also oh, yeah. got to figure out how to how to use that. I know how to make it an animation within Unity. I know that much at least, because I did that. I made a bunch of animations. I just don't know how to use it as a Vizem in VR chat. Mm -hmm. I wish I figured that out. That's fun. That's like a fun idea. Maybe this will give me a new renewed. Uh, sense of motivation towards that I do really like the like um, just like if you if we were to avoid mouth tracking altogether not mouth tracking even but just like mouth animation and just have the like um, the like animal crossing style or like the Pokemon sword and shield of just Where like just kind of like just stand like there smile and smile and then face just switches to like oh sad mm. smile you, I, like nintendo 64 games would have that dang and rump is like that well that's because they're all drawn sprites but still yeah but like uh, uh uh what's the game ocarina of time was all like that yeah i think that's fine i'm not opposed to that I mean, if we could just make the jam idea, just, I feel like, if we just make it like a city corner that you could just talk to NPCs, like if you just have a couple of NPCs walking good. around, you just go E and then they go like, oh, hey, you know, and Honestly, it like yeah. that zooms is in like, the camera. That's a perfect idea. I mean, I guess that I, we could just do the mall for that, I suppose, but... Not to make everything about the fucking mall. Well, we could do a, a, a section of the mall, maybe. I remember that being a variant. Like, I remember that being an idea a while back that we Honestly, worked on that, in Unreal. That could be a fun jam of just, like, trying to make a mall area. Like, make a game that is, uh, like, not intended to be for sale or anything. Just make it where it's, like, a little like the equivalent of a VR chat world but all the VR chat people are are AI. Yeah, just a little explorable environment. Yeah. But like the what if it was like the if it was like that where it was it were like all the the no actually that would be never mind. Never mind. <laughs> locking myself up. <laughs> look at the top response when I look up cargo shorts. Businessinsider.com Why no man should wear cargo shorts. Business Insider is crazy. Yes, cargo shorts really are that bad. Here's what you should wear instead. the same thing. <laughs> They're pocketless? Fuck you. What are you... Get out of here, man. That's the whole point of wearing cargo shorts so you can carry your cargo. Comes with a backpack, though. <laughs> Speaking of that, this guy's got backpack legs. Ooh. 
They should do more pockets where it, like, is the butt crack. Like you reach in your butt crack to get something? There's, like, a whole pocket that covers up the back side, you know? Like one big butt pocket. Like a kangaroo pouch. Like a fanny pack. Yeah. I think that would be funny looking. I gotta get the color for cargo shorts just right. It's all, it's just like it's dangerously close to her skin tone, I feel like. I feel like her skin tone is pretty close to what I would have picked for cargo shorts before. So I feel like I have to make like a variant on that. Hmm. I guess cargo shorts are a lot lighter too, actually. It's bordering on being too orange. I got it. I think that works. I don't know though. We'll see. actually my colors okay but I might go with this for now it's kind of like a greenish almost I guess it's closer to yellowish and I did always imagine them being like darker colored Don't fucking tell me what to do. I, w I would eventually like to make a Discord bot, like make Mippy Medium a proper Discord bot, where it'll, it's just a thing you just type in chat and just type join and then type play and type skip and it'll skip to a new video and that kind of yeah. shit. I don't know if you could really do that because it is like a lot of data, I guess. Just having all those video files stored somewhere. I, I guess I don't know how Discord bots work at all. So I don't, I don't really know what I'm talking about. It would have to run on a computer. I think some people run it on like their own desktops. And some people have like dedicated. So wouldn't that ultimately be like the same thing I'm already doing? It would just be more uh, elegant. Yeah, it would be more automated and you get, like, I don't know. I would still just have you to leave a computer method. running constantly. Yeah, it would just be also running a program. Also, if I could find, like, a live, uh... <clears throat> VHS filter somehow, like a, a program that'll apply that kind of shit automatically. Mm. That can make the system a, lo a little bit more streamlined, but it's not too bad as it is now. It's not too much of a pain to set up or anything. Actually, wait. See, is this another optical illusion moment? Is her leg skin tone the same as her arm skin tone? Mm, yes. Well, I guess I actually I, I can just look on the texture and see that they are. I guess it's just having the shading kind of tricks you, or tricks me rather. It didn't trick you. I gotta decide on what color I want for this loop. And 
This is going to be pretty close to the existing skin tone, but be a little different. Yeah, I like this. player two, it's time to push my buttons. Today I heard a new Ash voice line for when you sit at the menu. <clears throat> he oh, says... Oh, he like eggsy one. Yeah, this time he just says, Well, look who's shitting in the tall grass. <laughs> what does that mean? You know what I just remembered? The last TV show I watched was Ash vs. Evil Dead. Really? It's that been was... that long since you've like watched a show through? And or I didn't even that watch that whole show through. But that was the last show where I like watched the first couple episodes and was consistently surprised and stuff. How much of the Evil Dead like franchise do you think you need to see in order to be into that? Mm. It's all technically canon, except for like a few details in the early movies that they retconned. Like uh, the big thing is the state that it takes place in gets retconned. I know but, Evil Dead 1 is, like, way different than the rest, right? Evil Dead 1 will shock you <laughs> as to what they... Like, I saw the remake of Evil Dead 1, unfortunately. Evil Dead 1 is... Uh, I mean, it's uh, a good movie, and it's really nice to look at, because it's, like, shot on a very grainy film, but in, a like, a really nice-looking way, not in a shitty way at all. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely retrospectives, like, main arc episodes that involve them, like, going back to things that happened in the movie. I would say at least the first movie. That's really all that was required, because I think that was the only one that I really remembered. Okay. And there's also the Army of Darkness which is they're not supposed to mention it in the show but it is canon yeah i mean i guess i don't really have that straight in my head i'm still kind of confused by that whole deal army, army of, darkness of darkness is like an unofficial sequel or something like what is the deal with that no it's a sequel and it's within the story like it's totally canon but it's owned it was like made in a a I forget exactly how it was made. Basically, it's not a it's not an Evil Dead movie. It's an Ash Williams movie. <clears throat> Where I mean, it's it takes place in, in the past, but he gets sent into the past by a, a major thing from the first and set, like the the main I forget what it would be called. But there's a thing in the show or in the movies that um, is like Sends the source him to the past. Yeah, and it's like the source of a lot of the the magics. Oh, the, the Necronomicon. Show. Yeah, I've heard that at least. But he, I forget. He gets sent back into the past by some. They ref. They talk about it in the show a little bit, but. But yeah, there's kind of a thing where he's like a time traveler as well. But he never, he never does, like, he's not a time traveler. He just has time traveled. Oh, I see. It doesn't define him. Yeah, like, not at all. I just remember being like, this better be, not even, I like, going into it just thinking like, this is this was like a, a bad show like this was this ended up being like a lame reboot show and then actually 
like laughing for the first time at a TV show in a long time. <laughs> at just the first episode. So I mean, is is that franchise like primarily a comedy to you, or is it like does it take if itself you, seriously at times kind of deal? If you watch the first movie, you will not be able to answer the question, but you'll understand. <laughs> okay. You'll understand the answer. They, it's like a fully undefined. They do it in such a, a like unique way. That's, That's Sam like Raimi, right? Those movies. Yeah. Did he do all of them? Like, or did he get um, like pulled off part partway through? He he like conceived of the series, like, or he conceived the whole Evil Dead thing. But I don't think he direct. He didn't direct every every single thing, and he didn't direct any of the. That's the thing. The Ash vs. Evil Dead is a is a comedy show. There's a lot of like episodic things and whatnot, and they don't they don't give like that much of a shit about stuff. Like they don't care about like building a unique world or anything like that. They just like. They execute the old stuff super well. And they have one of the cooler, like, killers, I guess. I'm sure it was in for, it was up, like, in the running to be a killer, but it, it's not famous enough. Just like the main antagonist for season one. Actually, you saw it, I think. In the, or you may have seen it in the the trailer for that game. Oh, the, the new game? Yeah, there's that new game. I don't remember seeing the villain, but I'm sure I did. It I saw it. Like there's a lot of shit happening in that trailer. It's, yeah. <laughs> they have the Crusader from the, the Army of Darkness. I don't understand what that game is. It's other than, like... The, the one problem that I ended up having with the show is that it, like, I really like that they, like, basically define their own formula, but then they really, they stuck to the formula pretty much. And the game just looks like a, <laughs> uh, just the whole plot of the game is to do an Evil Dead episode. Just stick to the formula? Yeah. Like, get to a place, uh, shit goes bad, or whatever. Yada yada. Zombies, or whatever. Have you watched any Doctor Who? Have we talked about that? Watch what? Doctor Who. I've never watched Doctor Who. Oh, I think I did actually ask you this, and you said something about, like, like a detestment for British people or something. Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would say that's maybe, uh, maybe part Off of the it. record. Yeah, I go back and forth on that. Doctor Who's in a weird spot where it's like hard for me to super solidly recommend, but it definitely has like a lot of really fun ideas. I feel like Doctor Who is the original Rick and Morty. <laughs> Kinda, yeah, I can see that. Or the, the, the fans gave it a bad reputation. Yeah. Which is not a great fan base, really. Well, I mean, I guess they are a good fan base in the sense that, like, they support the franchise and all that, but it's just they don't present a very good look for what it means to be a fan of that. I just associate it with like uh, 
the like non-emo parts of Hot Topic. <laughs> the, the Doctor Who section and the emo section. Yeah, the like there's the nerd stuff section and the the goth stuff section. Yeah. I've actually seen like good shit in there before, but very rarely. It's usually go in there way all the too on the nose. That's my biggest well, problem they... with like reference shirts is that I feel like they go too specific and on the nose. I like them to be a little bit more subtle. Yeah. Uh, what was that jumbo? You said, wasn't there, or didn't you, or something like that? remember what you were going to say or did I, did I purge it oh um hot topic opened a, another type of what's it called they opened a different store i think it was box lunch did you ever go to a box lunch yeah i got some drone bullshit prizes from there yeah that was like a hot topic that, franchise yeah that was like the epitome of the reference shirts i feel like that whole store was like yeah. reference shirts but yeah, I remember that was a it was a hot topic store. Or they had some parent company or something. Automatic weights didn't do too bad. Yeah, I had the, the same experience. Bad, but... I, I did automatic weights and I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. That'll do pig. Battle do pig. <laughs> uh, what is the what is a baseball pose? Maybe if you have him like leaning back, like as if he has the bat over his shoulder. You ought to import a bat prop though. I don't think you're gonna yeah, be able you know to what? do many poses without the bat. Yeah. I was gonna say maybe I'm just gonna do the bat and then pose him and then and then call it. Sounds good with me. Make a bat. <laughs> Can we get away with just straightening this? Oh, this is good. This is a good game. What is this? Nacho Libre? It does look like the scene from Nacho Libre. <laughs> not you what know, I do you know that expect. movie well? No. Um, I'm trying to remember what the what the the big boss at the end of the movie was called Ramses I remember there I, I really I just know he gets an egg Ramses is the latest just yeah. from the fucking the Scorpy donation thing right dude I watched that movie so many times <laughs> I will I will uh, sing go. its praises yeah, I will sing its praises. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm singing its praises. I do a little bit of singing. I do a little bit of praise singing. Any praise yeah. singers in the chat? I think I'm singing its praises. That was, that was fans? not me Movie. when playing cyberpunk. Movie fans in chat? <laughs> I'm a film guy. I like John Wick 1, John Wick 
to the Matrix. As people who like movies are built different, okay? You gotta learn to accept that. Speed. Keanu Reeves. IMDB. There was that one, um... Boys in uh, Dreamland. What about the that Matrix one that was... Matrix 4? Yeah. The Matrix 4 is in production? Oh? Oh? A what? What on earth? I'm happy for all Matrix fans. You never saw The Matrix? No. Gotta see the Matrix. <laughs> you ever Some seen of the those Lion movies. King? You gotta see Lion King. Well, you gotta see all the movies that, like, get referenced constantly because... Yeah, but I feel like those they... movies I always end up, like, the least satisfied because I fucking know the whole movie from everyone talking about it all the time. Well, yeah. That's true. But it's more just so that you don't accidentally pick something up. That's true. I guess I haven't... I had a movie experience recently. Oh, it was Harry Potter. With Harry Potter, that didn't oh, matter. Yeah. Harry Potter, I was just having fun. It didn't matter that I had seen so much shit from it. So it doesn't... It's not necessarily like a death sentence. And that's what the... That's the thing. The Matrix, at, at its core, is not good for, like, messages or anything. Like, you don't walk away from the movie going, like, damn, I, I gotta think about stuff. <laughs> Only, like, the dumbest people do. And that like that was just when the movie first came out. Now it's just been retread over and over and over. So it's just fun to see how they did it in the like it's it's fun to see a '90s movie. It's a very '90s movie. They're like down 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 down. Yeah, that is fun. And everyone's wearing trench coats. And also, it won a bunch of awards for special effects because they fucking killed it with the special effects. I mean, I also know that a ton of Deus Ex's aesthetic is probably owed to that as well. Oh, 100%. I mean, and they probably owe it to something else, too. I I don't know. I don't, I, like, I'm not a Matrix, uh, Matrix head. But it's definitely... Definitely worth watching the first one. This is also very funny. In just like I don't know, there's some some situations in that movie that are only uh, only able to be referenced from that movie, and not ones that you, are like that ruin the movie or anything. Just like I always think of the. There's one character in it that is just like I cannot think of another movie where there's a guy that is better like that. I don't. I don't know how to. You mean like he just like an archetype really well or something? Yeah, there's just like a real sleazy guy, and that like is. You're, I just think like there is no one who is more of a like. More of that guy than the guy who plays <laughs> that guy. No one is more of that guy than that guy. Okay. Yeah, he he won. I'm definitely not opposed to the Matrix. Like, if, if if I had a friend who was, like, crazy about the Matrix and, like, pushing it all the time, I'm sure I would cave and give it you a shot. You saw Memento, right? Yeah. Do you know the guy who is, all, his, like, his handler, the guy in, with the glasses, the bald guy who always, like, comes to the hotel and stuff, and he's like, oh, hey, buddy, like, how's it going, man? Like, Yeah, the don't trust his lies guy. Yeah. That's the guy from the Matrix that I'm talking about. He like oh. rules. He rules in the Matrix as an actor. A, like the character is complicated, but he's great. I wish he was in more stuff. I feel like he really dropped off. Maybe he died. You know his name by any shot? No, I could look it up really quick. Just do like a wellness check on our boy.
But yeah, this copy of Typing of the Dead, uh, for, I guess it was only on PS2 in Japan, and the only way to get in America is to play it on Dreamcast. So I was playing it in Japanese, but it had like English subtitles. But then when, when the words come up for like prompts for what you should say, it's all Japanese words written out in like Romanji, like the English version uh. of it. So it was so hard. It was like something comes at you and I have to write like Keji Satsu or something, and I, I don't have any muscle memory for that kind of writing. Mm hmm. He's still alive. Yeah. He's still in movies. Joe Pantoliano. He is a prolific uh, American actor. Mm. This man's prolific. You do be kind of prolific, though. My man's ahead of his time. Man, Joe Panto Pantoli. Pant. Joe Pantoniano was the biggest actor of the 20th century. Joe Panties? Then he fell off when he was in MacGyver from season one to season two. The remake. Without any milk. Thank you for rescuing me. What? No! This little bit of a uh, pattern has given me a little bit of trouble. Can't quite make them match up as nice as they should. It's just a weird effect of how UVs work, I guess, but it's like, these are the exact same width lines, but they just look so different. Like the ones on the front and the ones on the back. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I mean, you, you no, they become different, like right at the the bottom of the crotch area. It becomes a little different, but that's a it's a subtle difference, and it's in a spot that people won't be looking at. Oh hey. There he is. There's the boy. Lipendo. 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 Haroldo. 
Harold or Potter. Harold. That's what Harry's short for, right? <laughs> Is it? Fuck. I never thought of that. I don't want to ever think of that. The real question is, is Haroldo a real name? Harold. I guess Geraldo is kind of the same, probably the same etymology or whatever. It's my princess. From Monday no Vifino. A simple agresiveness. A terrible. I wanna. I cuidado. I want to uh, memorize that that Wario in French commercial I found. <laughs> the whole thing? Yeah, because I keep saying, I keep hearing it in my head, but not being able to say it. I it's always hear quite it. a feat. Like that. <laughs> Just like, what are the words? <laughs> I need to know. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn how to really speak French just through this video. Or what yeah, was it? Learn. Was it French? Yeah. French Wario. French Wario. Frario. Even Schmari. Oh no, there's nothing. Is this still Harry Potter? I'm not paying attention. Oh, it is, okay. Kids these days, um, kids these days like to scratch records, but they be scared of cats and leopards. They do, they do. Something like that, something like that. Was that part of your French lessons? Just something I'm working on. Just a character I'm workshopping. Uh, she doesn't really need a Power Rangers ass belt buckle. <laughs> I think that might be misplaced. Pipe and drive? What does that mean? El niño que vivió durante los siguientes once años, Harry vivió con sus los hijos, los niños, los Darcy's, <laughs> hasta el día en que el destino le hizo llegar una carta invitándolo a asistir al colegio Hogwarts de magia. Kids these days act like they need phones. I'm just trying to pass a kidney stone. Something I'm working on. I just want a grill. Is this Rumors say they want to grill, but I want, I just want to free my man Bill. Free Bill Cosby. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's misguided. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Wrong bill, wrong bill. 
Is there another yeah, imprisoned yeah. bill that's like socially acceptable to free? Free Bill Ingvall from hell. <laughs> he's done. He, he's done his time. Free Bill Hader from his mortal shell. Activate uh, Perfect Hater. Potter. Oh, look at him. Look at this fucking Harry Potter. So, I mean, this belt buckle is like out of place. Right? I mean, I guess it looks weird because it's not supposed to be a V, it's supposed to be like a metal shine, but I have to apply the mirror to get that right. But even if it is a metal shine, like... Uh, don't, are there any belts that look like that? Whatever, I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know. I liked it on the drawing, I don't like it as much on the model. It kind of looks better just being blank. She's like pretty high poly. Es mi hermano George. Kids these days, I'll talk about Fred and George. What's next? But they don't know what it's like to fall in a gorge. That's true. They don't. Does Trust that sound, me. Is that sound? <clears throat> I was thinking like in gorge. There's oh, not a yeah. lot that rhymes with George. I th didn't we cover this already with Morge? I Morge. said Morge yesterday. I don't remember what Morge is now. Morge. Oh, yes. Hammy. You know. <laughs> Morge. I forgot. When you say it in the, the voice, it's a lot easier to recognize. <laughs> yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Morge. Just Morge. Morge. Bye. 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 Morge. Nothing. This guy goes so hard as as Malfoy. No tienes madre, vete. He sounds like an anime villain. He goes so hard on that like evil voice. Yeah, he's good. Da <laughs> I I wanted to end the stream so bad right there. <laughs> I would have a good time. You gotta keep your finger on the button. I just, straight. I just don't want to end it before it's like clear yeah. we both want to end it. I would just feel bad ending it early if you still like wanted to work on shit. No, I mean, I, I've always been in favor of a good ending over anything else. I can always just trim the VOD, too. <laughs> Why is this hat not weighted at all? Tienes oh, yeah. I just haven't done it yet. It's all one thing, I just...
Damn nearly headless Nick is pissed. This is motherfucker called Head. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> spine one, spine two, spine three? Oh, are they so all no called head? dumb shit? <laughs> I thought I renamed all the bones to have like good names. No, you did. It's just a joke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's head. Boom boom. Boop my ass. <laughs> what? I don't know. I I've imagined a rapper saying it. Attention! Flipendo! This is good music. Yeah, if we if we wanted to do just like NPC interaction jam, I guess, like making a little interactable area, that would also mm -hmm. be a good excuse for us to work on like some sort of semi semis. What is that? I don't know. Animal <laughs> animalies. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the name of the Sims one is, but I know the Animal Crossing one. Yeah, or at least a our like if we we I I could try and come up with or like we could think of a substitute of some kind. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just so, like finding some sort of version of that. I like that like. Brrr. But like as a synth noise, but like or like as a person. As like the text that you're reading, it's like you know, do you know, uh, like in Pikmin, how the text would come up? Mm, I don't think so. Pikmin end of mission or end of day. Is it just a little like like the thudding yeah. kind of noise? Well, like the text that comes up and it goes like, oh no, this is this is a little more. Never mind, I'm misremembering. This is much more mechanical. That's like. Vr <clears throat> <laughs> the game burps right as you did that. It sounded like it was a part of your thing. I mean, we could call it at any point here, but I just, I, I still have some momentum, I feel like. But I'm down, uh, to, yeah, I, I mean, could... we're past the hour point, so. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just doing the pose. I've had the Crash Bandicoot song stuck in my head for... Like the today. dumb one? 
I like wouldn't say it's dumb. Bandicoot. That one or like yeah. the actual? Yeah. The obnoxious one. <laughs> Shut up, goblin. Be gone. I wish I could fl pet Flipendo IRL. I wish this motherfucker would just be gone. You know what? I'm just gonna say it. Be gone. <laughs> Aye! Anyone to ever tell you you sound like Orson Welles, kid? Ah. <laughs> oh. Flipendo. Oh. There's a wine in the. Flipendo. I think I just want to finish up the shorts and then I'm down to call it. Then after that, all I really have to do is the flip flops and just like general cleanup. Because like I'm never going to get this shit right on the first pass. I also need to go through the like what looks weird phase where I just like mm -hmm. just keep looking at it from different angles and just like. What is off? Like, does anything stand out? Because I get tunnel vision. Like, you have to sit, get away from it and, like, come back to it. Yeah. I guess Joe said he's getting us into like a a village next wipe. I saw that. It's pretty cool. It could be fun. Yeah. I need to, I don't know why I even bothered trying to make this curved. I need to just make this a straight line. I gotta just accept my fate. That is a oh god, that's a square. Man, how bad is that? It's not even that bad. Uh never mind. The song has some good noodles. It's got like good noodles and do you know. Oh 
I'll stick with Campbell's. Sorry, a little late. Campbell's noodles. Ranger brand noodles. Ranger Rick brand. This is Ranger noodles. Rick. Ranger Rick is a magazine from the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. VR troopers. Know about VR troopers? We are poopers. Come on. Come on. What were they thinking? Forget about it, please. Please. I watched back a little bit of uh, AVGN recently. And for as much as that is like a... <laughs> this, is a good, this is a good one. As much as he is like a classic and like a darling of YouTube and all that, and I definitely do respect him, like a lot of those, like that type of humor has an age super well, I feel like. Yeah, I don't me. think I respect him. I like AVG. I do like James Rolfe. Like, I do like him. I don't want to just like shit on him. Like, yeah, no, I I definitely wouldn't shit on him, but I don't harbor I don't harbor any respect in my heart for him. You know? <laughs> He's just there. Yeah, I'm never ever like I I should be like ABG. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I think for me that's like so far from my mind because so many people do like ABG and likes. I guess that's yeah, such that's a true. common thing. Yeah, I, there's I've seen so many shitty shitty versions of it that just prove that like it is his version is pretty good I just wonder how it's, much of it is like a Seinfeld is. effect type of deal and how much of it is just like it's not really my sense of humor anymore what's the Seinfeld effect where it's like um because it's kind of like the first of its kind and then everything imitated it so in oh, hindsight yeah. it looks like generic because everything around it copied the exact same formula. Are you ready? You're about to hit the race course at 210 miles per hour. Whoa! Vacation with a dragon. Race a snowmobile, breathtaking alpine terrain. Push your puzzle skills to the limit and go on a perilous journey with the adventure of Ben Fatal. So finish that stuff crust pizza and leave. Was that Spyro they were talking about? They said go on vacation with a dragon? Holiday gift list. No way. Gotta call them. I just would never imagine somebody characterizing playing Spyro as going on a vacation with a dragon. I think this looks pretty good, smalled. Obviously the bat's big, but his shoulders fucked up. But it's this is still automatic weights. That's a good. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's just a whole ass anime opening. I just spent so much time on the stupid pocket thing just to go back to what I started with. Just kind of like eyeball drawing. Yeah, whatever. I mean, is there any special marking on normal? Yeah, what these do you ones mean? just have like slits. I s oh, I guess. This is kind of the definitive cargo short in my head, so... I'm just seeing, like, the side pockets. If there's any sort of markings, like, along where... the pocket line is, I suppose. I'm trying to think if there's a way I could do that cleanly. Maybe if I draw that pattern straight, and then I just... use the UV to make it look like that? No, because it's attached to the dotted lines. I guess it could just be this face. 
Maybe I do this. And bam, bam, bam. I also keep having to like stop and think about which way the pocket line should be angled. Well, it doesn't come as naturally to me as I would expect it to. I think I'm done for the night. Okay, I'm just about there, too. Is there any UVs over there? I have free space. I'm just gonna make this pocket line thingy. And then I'm good. I'm, uh, if, I, if this effort right here doesn't work, then I stop. My idea is I'm going to try to just kind of squeeze this UV. I try to squeeze a pocket shape out of this straight line. See if I can fuck with the UV enough that it'll look like a curved line. That way I can get some detail without it like fucking up the pattern too much. Yeah. That's. I had to do a weird thing here with this. Um, like the loops around his neck? Yeah, you see how this is a try, but the the line goes through. Oh, weird. Yeah. The way I did that was like I lined it up on here and then just like stretched it enough that the curve was pretty small. You can see that it does change directions right here. Yeah. But just just a little bit. Before doing this, I, I feel like I don't remember, I don't think I knew of Gex being like a 2D platformer, like ever. I always thought it was a 3D game. Me too. I only knew the Gex, whatever it was. Enter the Dragon. Is that what it, it was called? No. It was like uh, the James Bond thing. You know. Oh, you like used a like a James, James Bond. Bond title? Another yeah, Day to so. Die type of deal? I'm just gonna look it up. Isn't it Day of the Gecko or something like that? Enter the Gecko. Enter the Gecko? Oh, so there was something there. I just said that without even thinking. Yeah, and look. So it was like somewhere a, in my brain. Look, it's like a... <laughs> so we had the two pieces, we just had to... Yeah. He's literally in the... the barrel. Like... <laughs> the Blood 7. He's really tiny. Yikes. Alright, real quick before we close out. Is there anything that jumps out to you about her, like, proportion-wise or texture-wise that looks, like, off? 
mm. that I should note. I'm going to look at it tomorrow and probably have a different perspective. Maybe. I feel like if there is anything really fucked, it's probably the face. It's I feel like it's. I feel like the neck and head might be a little. Like. Maybe. Like that. The curve of it is off or something. Like this curve? Like the curve of the neck to the head. Oh. Like right here? Yeah. She does kind of have a fat neck. I feel like necks... There should be, a like, one line that's just going straight down. Straight down. From where, like, on the I side? I guess you do have one. You're all right though. The neck is not. I think it's it's the she loop like a really right above. She has like looking neck. The loop right above where you're at. It's just poking out a little too much on the sides. I think that's where it is. This it's one. It's that. You see that plane. It's like creating. Well, like the one, the like edge, I guess, that you're hovering over. That one or that one. The middle one. It's like if you just scale that, maybe. It would make the curve less, like, thick. The curve's, like, really circular. That's what it is. You can see, like, a, you know, like, the circles. Do you mean scale it up or scale it down? Scale it down. When you scale things down, it, like, like makes that? the curve. I guess. Maybe never mind. Um, yeah, I need to work on that. Maybe our neck's, like, too long? It's because the, the neck has, like, points in the front that go into the clavicle bone. Here, I, my, I think my guy has kind of like, like that. This? I tried to do that. Oh, like a try? I mean, yeah, like your your Adam's apple. She kind of has that, like this face. It's just not all one point. But it like the flow of the it flows outward. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I just need to work on it. I don't know. Typically, you would see like the middle of the chest is where things flow towards. Oh, so you're talking about this part, where it flows back out? Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I have that top of, like, very intentional, because that's, like, the chest, like... Yeah. It just flows outward deal. and then right back inward. So if I, like, bring that in... I mean, I, that wouldn't show up on, like, your silhouette anyways, right? Yeah, not really. I have to fix... Oh, wait. Okay, that was just from me moving this, then. Why did that cause that? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah that was the only thing I could uh, think of. Looks good. Thank you. I, I, I could just feel there's still something looming that's weird, and I have to just take some time and come back to it. Maybe it's she does expression. have kind of, I guess, like a muscular jaw as well. I feel like usually people draw women's faces like coming to a point. It's true. But that also, that's also just like, that's anime. That's anime women. More like this kind of deal. Pretty much. I think it helps a bit. Alright, whatever. I don't want to sit here up yeah. all day. I think she's coming along pretty good. Looks pretty different Definitely. from the sketch, but I'm still pretty happy with it. 
I think your baseball fella is coming along real nice, too. Thank you. When he's posed like this, it definitely makes me aware of, like, where the shading can go. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I did the rig. Maybe try to get him into VR chat and next we could open next jam with a dance or something. Yeah, that'd be good. We're out of E3 stuff, right? There's nothing else. Uh, yeah. Damn, I expected it to be hella late right now. It's only ten. Nice. It feels late though. Yeah, I'm just I'm very tired. I'm pretty low energy right now. Yeah, I'm mean, giving off two a.m. vibes. Alrighty. Well, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Jam. Welcome to Jam. Goodbye to Jam. Bye, Jam.